Hi everybody, welcome back to my tech support channel. Now in this video, we are going to look at how to deploy an application in a HA mode, means high availability mode, using a OCI load balancer. So that is what we are going to look at end to end, how to create a load balancer, how to add the backend sets on a HA, how to deploy our HTTPS server on compute instance and how to access that via load balancer in a high availability mode. So that is what I am going to demonstrate in this videos. So guys, before I start, I will ask everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. No, now let's first understand what is OCI load balancer. The load balancing service of OCI provides automatic traffic distribution from one entry point to multiple services or servers within your virtual cloud network. The service, the service the OCI allows you to create an load balancer of your choice. It can be a public load balancer, it can be a private load balancer, like the load balancer, which you can access publicly, which will provide the public IP, or it can be a private and also provisioned the bandwidth means you can have the bandwidth as per your requirement. Okay, the load, the load balancing service provisions the public IP address across two subnets within a VCN to ensure accessibility even during an availability domain outages. Okay, so to accept traffic from the internet, we create a public load balancer. The service assigns it a public IP address that serves as the entry point for the incoming traffic. So here is like a architecture diagram. Like here we have like let's suppose we have a region wherein we have a three different ADs. Okay, AD one, AD two, AD three. We what we will do? We will create a regional subnet. Okay, and we will deploy our regional sub. We will deploy our load balancer in that regional sub subnet. Why? If any, you know, AD, you know, uh, goes down, then we will have a failure load balancer in a different AD. Okay, and then we will have a different compute instances. Okay, in a different, uh, maybe in a single subnet or a different subnet, and then we'll put that compute instances as a backend within the load balancer and we will then load balancer will be accessible publicly and that will be a front end or that will be a front door for the end users who will access the end user will access will access the load balancer and load balancer will route our request to the servers behind the load balancer sometimes the request may go to this to this or to this depending how much your web servers are busy or if any one of the down then request will go to this or to this okay now what are the steps to set up the HA environment like we will in the first step we will create a vcn and other resources so that we have already done in our previous videos you can refer those videos and see how to create vcn and other resources other resources like subnet and the other stuff okay and then we will create two compute instances and install web server so in that second step we have already created one compute instance that we have seen in one of the videos and we have all also installed the web server and now we will create another compute instance and we will install web server the third step, we will create additional security list, route table, and subnet that will be for my load balancer. Okay. And then I will, in the fourth step, we will create a load balancer and update the security list. And then we will test our environment. So let's do a demo and see how we can achieve this end to end. Right. So, uh, so this is my. Uh, uh, cloud OCI. Now here you see we already have one compute instance. Okay, if you see into the instances, I already have that instance and I already have installed the server here. If you access it, you will see it will show you this is my web server one. Okay, means I already have one compute instance available, right, which has installed the web server means HTTP server. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I am going to create a, another compute instance and we'll install it. Okay. Let's say web 
server 02, for example, and I will choose my compartment and then image and shape. That's fine. I will use the this one VM standard E2 micro. That's fine. I will use my paste public key. What I will do, I will connect to my cloud shell and we'll take it from there, right? We have generated it earlier. So I will take it from there and we'll paste it here. Okay. Let me see if I have a suggestion here. Not this one. Let me see. Okay. CD dot SSH. And let's say LSLTR. Yes, we have here SSH keys dot pub, right? So I'll copy this and paste it here. Right? Cool. And that's fine. And let's uh, okay. Let me see. It's demo and it's public, and it will assign a public IP address as well. That's fine. And click on a create button. Now this will be created. Let this to be created. Let the public IP to be assigned, and then we will log in into this server and will install my Apache server there. Let this to be provision. Okay, public IP has been assigned. Let me copy this and let me try to SSH here. Let me say SSH hyphen I SSH keys or PC at the rate and let me copy this. Let me see if I'm able to pips mod initialized. Let me see if I can access it right away or it is still an provisioning mod. Let this happen. Okay, let this to getting this con connection refused error. Let me simply see my security list, which is attached to it. The port is already open. Then I hope I should, oh yeah. But this is now like, right. Okay, cool. Now I am, I am able to access. Let's install the web server on this. Let me just copy new command here. This is my sudo yum hyphen y space install hyphen httpd, which will install my web server. Let this to be installed. It will not take much time. And then after this, we will open, uh, uh, open a port 80. Let this to happen. Okay. Now you see this is getting uh, installed. It will take, yeah, now you see it's completed. Now what we are going to do is the next step, we are going to uh, open the TCP port ATP. So this is a command sudo space firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen permanent space hyphen hyphen add hyphen port equals to AT TCP. Okay. Now, after the port will be opened, what do we, I'm going to do? I'm going to reload my firewall, right? This is done. And now the next command is to start my HTTP server. Okay, cool. It started now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change the, going to you know, root command root. And now what I am going to do, I am going to create an index.html file with this. This is my web server too. Okay, cool. Now this is done. Now, if you want to exit this web server, you can simply go here. You see, this is my web server too. This is my web server one. Now I have two compute instances wherein the web server one and web server two is abandoning. That's fine. This is done. Now, as a next step, what I'm going to do, I am going to I'm going in my uh, VCN and going to create some security list, route tables, and some other subnet for my load balancer. Go, go to this VCN. What I'm going to do, first of all, I am going to create a security list. Okay, go to this security list and create a security list and let's say LB security list. Okay, that's fine. Simply say create security list. Now I am going to create a route table. Let's say LB route table, and I will say add route table 
it will be like a internet gateway and it will be from public right and i will say internet type gateway is internet gateway and then click on the create button fine now the third is i am going to create a subnet here let's say lb subnet okay compartment is demo compartment make sure you will select as a regional and site or block is let's say 10.0.4.0 slash 24 that's fine here you need to select the route table which you have created and then make sure it is public and let other option as as is but make sure you will change the security list to lbsl and let's say create subnet now this is my subnet which has been created and i am going to use that subnet while creating my load balancer right so now you need to create a load balancer go to this networking and from here go to the load balancer and create a load balancer here okay use this load balancer one and click on a create now let's say uh hjlb okay this is the name and choose visibility type let's say public assign a public ip you can have your own ip address as a reserved or you can use the ephemeral ip address i will choose this one and now here you can choose the bandwidth okay so you can start with 10 and the maximum bandwidth and you can go up to 8000 mbps so let the option as is and click on the next button okay okay oh sorry so you need to choose the vcn which you have created which is my demo vcn and here i will choose my lb subnet which i have created and click on the next button now you can choose your uh, load balancing algorithm it can be weighted route robin it can be ip hash least connection so this is like a load balancer policy which you can use and here you need to add our backends okay select all your compute instances wherein your servers are installed add selected backends okay the port is 80 that's fine and the uh, specify health check policy the protocol http you can have tcp also that's fine that's fine okay and nothing else you need to update let's keep the port 80 and next now here you need to define the listener a listener is a logical entity that check for incoming traffic on the load balancer ip address so i'll say lb listener and i will choose this as the http the port will be 80 by default and then click on the next button and if you want to enable the login you can enable the logging this is the log will be created in this log group the retention period is this if you want to create access log you can enable this as well okay let me do this and simply say submit now your lb will be created within a minute or two okay cool now let me go back to the networking and go to this my vcn and let me update what update my uh security list so what i'm going to do okay Let's go to the security list and let's open this LBSL and let's add the ingress rule here. Okay. So I'm saying the traffic I'm taking this as a zero, 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 zero means anything internet. I will use my IP protocol, this guy, and let's say port is 80, right? And then add this guy. Now, similarly, let's uh, add another rule ingress rule and same thing you can do here let's say 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 slash zero and let's open it for all the protocols and let's say add ingress rule right now go back let's open this default security list which is attached to my vcn and here what i'm going to do i am going to Okay, this is already there. Okay, so this is the ingress rule which you need to add like 10.0.4.0.24. It is my subnet of my load balancer. Okay, and uh, is it is open on port 80, right? So that is what you need to do. 
okay fine now that's fine so this is this is this is these are the rules which you need to open go back and let's see to the load balancer and let's see what is happening now health is okay if you go here means everything is fine if you go to your back end make sure the health should be okay right now let's test it from your ip address now you see the request is going to web server 2 web server 1 you see the request is going to web 1 or web 2 so you see this is my high availability environment if any one of your server is down the request will be routed to the server which is up now let me show you that one as well let me go to the instances let me make that web server 2 down okay stop right that will be a stop the web server 2 is stopped come here and let's say web server 1 all required request will be routed to my web server one only so this is your ha mode now if you will make your web server 2 up then request again will go to web server 1 or web server 2 so this is your ha environment Guys, that's all about this. And now you can start deploying your application in a HA mode on OCI. So guys, that's all about this. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can find me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and then Pinterest. You can also see my blog, https colon slash slash Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.